Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to another daily vlog, but truly, this is a night vlog. So I just woke up from a nap. I was so exhausted. I only slept about like six hours last night and the night before. So it was really starting to catch up with me. And I passed out at like 4.30 PM and woke up about 6.30. Now it's dark outside and I still have all of my stuff that I need to do around the house. So we're gonna vlog it. I have been staying up till like 2 AM and then for some reason I can't stay in bed past like eight. And I'm gonna have to get this shit figured out because it's really starting to get to me and I'm so tired during the day, but I, I've had a medication change recently and hopefully this is gonna get better. But let me show you guys what my living room looks like at night. Cause it's so cozy and I love it in here. Look at the beautiful light. So here's my Christmas tree right here as we come in the room. And then we have our purple lights. Some of you guys will remember I bought those at Halloween and we just, we're just gonna keep them up all year because they look so good with our mandala curtains. And then over here, I've got a salt lamp in the corner. And then over here, I've got a crystal lamp. It's, it's made out of selenite, which is like a really soft crystal. And then to top it all off, I am going to light this Christmas tree handle that we got at Walmart. It's called Evergreen Spruce and oh my God, it smells so good. Because people kept saying that our Christmas tree, our real Christmas tree was gonna smell good and it doesn't smell like anything. So I really wanted a Christmas tree smell in here. So we have to burn this. Oh my God, barely. Oh God, it's burning my finger. It's burning my finger, shoot. I got it though. I got one, now I gotta get the other wig. Here, light the, oh my God, can I get one wick to light the other wick? Holy crap. I am truly a magician if I can make that work. It's not gonna work. Damn it! <laughs> I had a good idea, but the flame's not uh, big enough. I burnt the crap out of myself, but I finally got it going. Oh my God, it smells so good. As much as I love it in the cozy darkness, I had to turn on the light so that I can clean up in here because that's another reason I love the dark. It hides all the dirt. <laughs> and then you turn the lights on and it's quite scary what you find. <laughs> what is going on with my hair? So I started washing my hair at night and sleeping on it because I felt like it gave it more volume than if I washed it in the day. But then I wake up and I got stuff like this going on. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go back to morning showers. But right now guys, we gotta get this living room cleaned up because I wanna wrap some presents and I just can't wrap presents if it's not clean. Like I need it to be, I need it to be spotless in here so I feel good. You can see our carpet. <laughs> Those are leaves from the dogs. So when the dogs go outside in the leaves, they get leaves all stuck in their fur and then they track it back in. This is literally like one day of leaves. We have to vacuum every single day, but I'm gonna start with just tidying up anything that needs to be tidied. keep blankets on the couches for the dogs to sleep on and also to cover up the rips in our couch. Oh my God. This one is particularly bad. <laughs> it's really terrible. So this is like a faux leather and oh my God, there's leaves all over the place. Oh, so uh, it started to rip like a couple months ago and this is how bad it's gotten. So I'm just covering this up. This needs to be washed. I'm actually gonna wash this blanket. But we have been saving up and saving up to try to get enough for new furniture. And I think we finally saved enough. So probably after Christmas, we're gonna go to the furniture store and get a new couch and love seat and maybe even a recliner. And we need it so bad. <laughs> like these couches are getting, it's embarrassing, quite frankly. Like you don't wanna have any guests over cause like, oh, have a seat on my ripped up couch. Anyway, so we are going to be getting a new couch and love seat. And like we sort of just thought maybe we should wait until we move since we plan to move in January. So maybe we will wait. But then we have then we're stuck with this furniture and what if we can't find a place right away? 
I don't know, we've gotta think about it, but either way, we're getting new furniture, and also we're getting a new mattress, because our mattress right now is like sunken in. It has like this dip in it, and it's very uncomfortable. It was a cheap mattress, and it's years and years old. So we've already ordered the new mattress because they were having a huge sale on Black Friday at Mattress Firm and I got a mattress for 50% off plus $160 cash back. I was like, yes, please. I will take that deal. And it's gonna be delivered on Monday and I'm so excited. I also bought all new bedding for it because we have had the same bedding for six years. <laughs> We're frugal, okay? <laughs> but I'm so excited because I actually bought a duvet and a duvet cover, which makes me feel so incredibly fancy. Um, I found out that that's what you guys have in Europe. Okay, we don't have that. We just have a comforter, which is basically a duvet cover that's just permanently sewn on. Uh, but now we have our own duvet. I feel like the way I'm standing under this light is giving me really bad dark circles, so I'm gonna move. Anyway, I'll show you guys that when we get the new bed. Now I think I just need to dust and vacuum, so let's do it. If you're sitting at home knowing you need to vacuum your floors, this is your cue, this is your sign from the universe, get up and vacuum, okay? It'll just take you a few minutes and you'll feel so much better. It's amazing how much cleaner your room feels when it's freshly vacuumed. And that is coming from someone who has no business giving anybody else cleaning advice, okay? You guys see my house. Got my handy dandy duster out. I'm gonna dust it up and pretend I look like Kaylin Langerak. Right, I'm gonna dust these tables. This one especially, oops. I should probably take the stuff off of it, huh? This is our wedding picture, which has some kind of smear on it. I don't even know what that is. The camera's recognizing my face in this. <laughs> yep, so long ago, almost 10 years ago, we got married and then I put my favorite wedding picture, picture in the world's shittiest frame ever. It's like falling apart. I'm taking a tea break before I vacuum, but I think I'm done with everything else that I'm gonna do at least. There's still more I could do. I really don't like cleaning. Bell Bell. She, there's a dog barking like in the neighborhood and she can hear it and it just pisses her off. She can't stand it. So my dream is basically to get a maid someday. Someday. I wanna get a maid to come clean my house like twice a week. Just to do the, Bella to just do like the deep cleaning stuff that I hate doing, you know, like cleaning the toilet and the floors and stuff like that would be so freaking incredible. And I'm really hoping I can make that happen someday. All my dreams would come true if I had a maid. I know I talked to you guys a little bit about how we are going to sell the house and we've been talking about it. And I'm thinking that we might make enough money off the house to pay off all of our debt. And I think I would rather do that than immediately put a down payment on another house. Cause having debt just sucks. And we have like, I still have debt from my uh, mouth surgery and we still have, we still owe some on our car. And then we have student loans and we have a little bit of credit card debt, not a lot. We do not accrue any more debt than what we already have. Like I told you guys we're saving up money for the furniture so we can pay cash for it. So we're trying not to like accrue any more, but if we made enough money on this house to pay it off, I think I would just do that and then we could just rent for a while and it would be a lot easier to save up another down payment for another house. Cause we still haven't decided where we want to live. I'm kind of looking forward to renting again because it just feels like I'm, I'm free. Like right now I just feel so tied down to this house, to this place and I need to be free. I need to be free <laughs> and I don't feel free. And when you're renting, like you can just leave when your lease is up. There is something to be said for renting. But I mean, if we didn't buy this house, we never would have been able to sell this house and possibly pay off our debt. So, you know, there's pros and cons for both, but we'll probably rent for a little while and then decide where, if we want to stay in Colorado, if we want to go back to Arkansas, or, like what we want to do with our lives in a couple years. All right, let's get back to cleaning, I guess. Break over. sucked up all the pine needles on top of the record stand and I almost sucked up this ornament but look how cute this is this is uh one of Andrew's co-workers made this for him 
And it's so cute. It's kind of large for our tree. So we just kind of sat it over here to be festive. Oh, I didn't even know it had like a little tag on it. It says, a feather from an angel is truly rare to see. And this one is quite different. It's as special as can be. This feather is a token of a special person's love who now as guardian angel protects you from above. Oh, that's so sweet. And it has a feather in it. Okay, I'm knocking down more freaking pine needles. Oh my God, I hate you, Christmas tree. I hate you. Oh my God, so much better, y'all. So much better. So I've got to wrap Andrew's last gift tonight while he's not here. And I'm gonna show you what I got him. One thing that I got him, but don't tell him if anybody's watching this, <laughs> who knows us don't tell him what I got him this is really cool and I'm so excited for him to open it let me try to tear open the package so I love to support small companies and small businesses and this is something that I've had my eye on for a while we love to drink coffee like we are coffee fiends in this house so and our favorite podcast is Last Podcast on the Left, which is a true crime horror comedy podcast. Like we go see all the live shows, we love it. And they partnered with a guy, I guess, who has a small business and makes his own uh, coffee beans. Like he roasts them and makes different blends and stuff. So I got him the Mothman Red Eye Blend Spring Hill Jack Coffee. Ah. If you guys listen to last podcast on the left, you know about this because they pretty much plug it in like all of their podcasts. And now every time Andrew and I are watching one of the podcasts, I'm just like, <laughs> hoping he doesn't say anything about the coffee because then I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold it inside that I have a whole bag of it for him. <laughs> it even says on the bag exclusively for last podcast on the left. How cool is that? You can smell it so strongly right now. Like it's been sitting on my bookshelf wrapped up in it in the package it came in. And I'm like, I hope he doesn't smell this. And like, why does it smell like coffee in here? But he hasn't said anything so far. So I also got him a coffee grinder because we have just been basic coffee drinkers. We're drinking Maxwell House. We do not have a coffee bean grinder. So I bought him a coffee bean grinder and this blend. So it's kind of like one gift together. And I can't wait to give it to him. And I can't wait to try this. This is kind of for myself too. <laughs> I can't wait to try this too. I also got him a really cool uh, mug, coffee mug. But I've already wrapped that so I can't show it to you now. I'll show it to you after Christmas. So anyway, shh, it's a secret, don't tell. Oh, look at the back, look at the back side. It has the Mothman on it, Mothman red eye blend. A roast as dark as the night, perfect for fueling the cryptid in all of us, giving us the energy to haunt the TNT mines until the sun comes up. <laughs> I love it so much. So I'm gonna wrap this in something. I'm just gonna kind of like wrap it like it is because I've already wrapped the coffee grinder and I have it in a bag and I'm gonna put this in the bag with it. I followed Spring Hill Jack on Instagram and they followed me back and I was like dying to tell Andrew and I couldn't tell him. <laughs> I wanted to say Spring Hill Jack coffee followed me on Instagram, but I couldn't. I'll tell him, I'll tell him after Christmas. not the best rapper by any means. I'm gonna try my best, but don't expect this to be beautiful. But we don't care. You know, as long as it, as long as it's covered up, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna get ripped up anyway. It doesn't have to be a work of art. It smells so strong. I wonder if he's gonna smell it under the tree. Hopefully 
hopefully in the bag it'll mask it a little bit. Okay, I did my best. <laughs> so now I'm gonna put it in here with his coffee grinder, which I've already wrapped. Hopefully it will fit in here. Come on, fit inside. Yes, perfect. Okay, so the coffee grinder and the coffee, and they're both wrapped in there. And so he's never had a coffee grinder. We were talking about this like a couple weeks ago and that's what gave me the idea after I heard the last podcast ad. Like he, I, I was telling him how cool it is to grind your own coffee beans and he was saying that he never had a coffee grinder and I was like, oh, you have to experience that. So he has no idea um, <laughs> that he's getting this for Christmas. Like he didn't request this or anything. This was just something that I came up with um, cause I, and I think he's really gonna like it cause he loves coffee. I also got him, I'm not gonna tell you everything I got him cause I'm gonna save it for our Christmas vlog, but I got him something really, really cool. And I may have spent a little bit too much money that he doesn't know about. Shh. <laughs> but I think we're gonna have a really good Christmas this year and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for joining me and hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're having a very cozy holiday so far. Here's some nice snow to send you off. Thank you again and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!